We are live, and it's my diet do salute. Check out Molly's Place, mymollies.com. Boom. All right, the teal. I think they've kind of finished up nicely, and this is kind of the a very unsexy part of the decoy process, but it is an important process. I'm gonna put our second coat of paint. I usually start off, the bottoms are the very first thing that I paint. Oh, I'm looking there, I'm sorry. The bottoms are the very first thing that I paint. Um, Cause get that first coat on, that way you can set them on the shelf, they can dry, they can do, they can do the rest of their looking down there I'm sorry keep going there I'm gonna go there um, that's just good to get get a coat of paint on the bottoms has plenty of chance there's a with um, the golden's heavy body mat there's a big difference between to me and I guess it's really all paints but the difference of paint that's dried and cured paint can be dry but not be cured and especially the golden's it really needs to be cured if, if you take two birds and touch fresh birds the paint kind of still still has a chance to adhere here to itself so again it's nothing nothing uh complicated just get a, a second coat on there here's more of a regular regular headed bird i i don't know what i don't know what that is anyway i think it's a, a piece of the paint that i missed Maybe I'll be keeping this one. Nobody wants it. But so there. This this is a bird that again you can see I painted it. Excuse me. I painted it. I don't know why I keep wanting to do that. I should be there. Um <laughs> a bird that the bottom got painted right from the get-go. I did I, these got they were all cut out together. But they got uh, the group got like split up. It's 22 total. And uh, the actual carving process, I guess I did 10 or 12 of them, branded them, sealed them, and put the, I was going to really start to paint them nonstop. And I was like, nah, you know, I really should, just so that so that they'll kind of blend together. It depends on which ones are going where. I, I wouldn't want all the, the colors and the tones to be the same, so... But the other birds, I, I really wanted to get on them, so I actually had waited to paint the bottoms after I'd already started putting putting paint on the bird. And with my style of carving, my style of painting, you always start from the, excuse me, I keep doing that. Always start from the tail and work forward. So uh, I just wanted to, get, wanted to get busy with them, so. Seems to be that this guy, I did three of them, um, seems to be somewhat of a fan favorite. With going live on, there, see, I got it down. With going live on Facebook and Instagram, gotten a lot of comments on, on, the, on these three stretched ones, so. A lot of peat and repeat. I brand them. And then also, I've seen, seen the tail or not. There it is. Uh, use an engraver and just write the date in it. Terry Distillates, as it makes the, the, the Pit Boss brand, I was getting, I know, like 2008, 9, and 10. He was, and I guess he still makes them. I'm sure he'd make them. I just stopped getting them from him. Um, but he would actually just make a uh, another brand with the date, the year, excuse me, and um, do that and somewhere along the way. Probably a year that I didn't make that many. I started. I switched over to doing the. Uh, you can kind of see it right in there. Doing the uh, engraver. Here's a this little low head. I've been, I've been liking them too. Yeah. 
again, this is one that was early, uh, one of the first, the first half, because I did paint the bottoms before I started putting anything other than paint on them. Get this done. Still need to put the leather leather strap, which I can show you. I don't I don't have any weights, but here's the leather strap, and then a leather leather weight leather yeah a lead weight. We'll get in the center of them there. So. Very happy Friday to you. It's a nice Friday. Eric cleaned out nice last night. For summer, at least for July. Feels good. It's definitely not September or October air, but still feels good. Um, I think it's going to rain pretty good tomorrow. Let's see where I can put this guy. Yeah, I, gotta, I don't know if I can stretch. Give me a second. And number 22. Again, one that was on the early side, the first half. So, if I have your attention still, let's, let me ask you this. Do you, do you find re my regular YouTube edited videos? Do you like those? Do you like I'm trying to figure out if it's going live on YouTube, for lack of a better word, worth it? Because it does take effort, which I don't mind. But if no one if no one is really tuned in to me going live, I won't, basically. I'd kind of like to, this for this duck season, I don't know, it, there could be some negative in it, but I, I'd really like to like to try to go live um, during the season more. Has to be the right group, obviously. Everybody has to be on board with it. Um, don't wanna, I don't want to ruin anyone's hunt by me doing it, but at the same time, it could be fun. I don't know. But if you got a second, Leave me a, a comment down below, please. Live YouTube with Pit Boss Live YouTube. Thumbs up or thumbs down. How about that? All right, that's all I got. That's number 22. Again, there is a, a good difference in my mind from them being dry to them being cured. Um, I think I'm going to break them out into the sun this afternoon. I should do it right now. But I'm going to go run the dogs and get that out of the way so they can burn off some, some energy and some steam. So, yeah, if you'd like to see more and you haven't seen the videos I posted up already, basically this week I'd go live on Facebook, shooting vertical, and then I would take, download it, throw it in the editor, and then put it up right here on YouTube. So um, you can go back and kind of follow the process somewhat. And, um, Again, I appreciate you following along. Thank you very much. A very happy. Let me set this guy down. Oh, a very happy Friday to you. MyMollies.com. Check them out. My diet do salute. Happy Friday. Have a safe weekend, boo.